morning y'all welcome back to another day in the life i don't know what i'm going to title this but nine to five full time whatever welcome back okay so i'm getting ready to go to the gym i go to the gym y'all know i've been in the gym i'm trying to decide if i want to wear this shirt i don't really like how tight it is around my arms so i'm probably going to change that because it's very uncomfortable it's very uncomfortable but it's still cute shirt but yeah i don't i just don't I'm not really feeling this at all. <laughs> My shirt is kind of wrinkled, but I just don't care. But this feels way better than the other shirt. Let me roll up my sleeves. Today, I'm going to get into some graphics things. I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. It's been a week since my cruise. If you guys haven't seen my cruise vlog, make sure you guys check that out because... That vlog was lit. I had such a great time. But I'm finally back into the swing of things when it comes to work. I'm caught up on work. I'm feeling good. Last week was kind of busy, but we're back in that action. You feel me? My goal today is to... I have a graphics package due tomorrow for a client. She needs nine social posts. So I'm going to try to start that today. But my main priority is my full-time job today, obviously, because I do work a nine to five in the graphic design field. I did not get up early enough. So I will not be going into the office today as planned. I was thinking about going to the coffee shop, but honestly, it's looking like a work from home day. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I just don't feel like going nowhere. So I'm gonna listen to my body and my mental and stay in the house. I don't know if that's healthy, if I should stay in the house. Like working from home is very good and bad because I don't like to separate myself from the world and just become a non-social person. But some days I just don't feel like going anywhere and I respect my thoughts and how I feel and I'm just not gonna go anywhere today. So hopefully the next time you guys see me or the next time I do a nine to five day in a life vlog, I actually go to the office or go to another coffee shop that we can try out. If you guys are interested in one of those vlogs, here's one right here where I, this one's actually a week in my life as a nine to five graphic designer. And in this vlog, you'll see me going to different, um, coffee shops xyz blah 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 but today we at the crib with it i feel like i really feel that way because this weekend i have drill friday saturday and sunday so i'm just trying to enjoy my space while i can yeah let's enough chit chat i really don't feel like putting up the dishes right now but this morning i did my devotional just a quick little recap today's verse is therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing and i also tuned in to my girl's podcast she said some very informational motivational words this morning you guys should check that out if you're feeling a little discouraged or unmotivated today this episode is called time is not real and her podcast is on spotify i'm about to make my pre-workout i have been going to the gym consistently since december 22nd 2022 too. that is all great and i'm very proud of myself for remaining consistent staying in the course being disciplined going even on days when i don't feel like it however i'm not really seeing the progress that i feel like i should be seeing by now and i can only really blame myself because I'm in charge of what I'm eating going to the gym simply is not enough i mean i'm doing better with like not overeating and portion control but sometimes the stuff that I eat are not necessarily healthy. Like I'm trying to cut down on bread. Why do I keep buying bagels? I don't know. I don't eat beef anymore. So I usually get ground turkey for like taco night or if I'm making spaghetti. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing. I'm just getting my pre-workout together. This is the Lani new pre-workout in Galaxy Lemonade. I love this pre-workout, but it's starting to get a little too sweet for me in the morning. At first, when I first tasted it, I was like, mmm, this junk is good, but now can't do it. I'm gonna be looking for a new flavor, but I really do like this brand. Back to what I was saying. I'm in charge of what I'm eating. Sometimes it's very hard for me to just stay, I don't know the word, but just staying on my, you know what when it comes to having an eating schedule or diet or whatever. I don't really want to put myself on a diet. I don't really count my calories. But I know for a fact that I can eat healthier. I'm working on my water intake. That's a good thing. I drink a lot of water, but I don't drink 100 ounces of water like I should. But I do drink a lot of water. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I actually have like 30 minutes until it's time to go. So I'm going to fold my laundry. 
my dryer broke yesterday well it really broke over the weekend i put in a maintenance request on sunday they came yesterday which was tuesday and they were able to fix it which i'm very happy because i did not want to go to the laundromat at all and sometime this week which y'all probably won't see because this is only a day in the life i do want to go get some um mother's day some mother day gifts for my mom my aunt i need to get my uncle a birthday gift and i think that's it i have some leftover turkey burgers from last night so i'm gonna eat that from dinner not sure what i'm gonna eat for breakfast i really want to stop by chick-fil-a on the way home but i have some oatmeal i have eggs i have turkey bacon i have bread i need to stop buying bagels until i can control myself when it comes to eating that y'all i still don't have nightstands in my room honestly i completely stopped decorating my apartment i don't think i'm re-signing my lease here i just i'm not really happy here 100 percent and nice apartment great for a starter apartment but i know this isn't where i want to really get settled in so once i came to that realization i kind of just stopped purchasing things for the apartment like i don't have a coffee table in the living room i don't have a tv in here i don't have a nightstand i don't have a dresser in here i really wanted a mirror for the living room like one of those ikea mirrors i think it's called the hobbit mirror i don't think i'm gonna buy that simply because i already have it made up in my mind that i don't want to stay here and getting all that stuff would just cause me to have to move more stuff on move out day i haven't even started looking at apartments all the way but i know that being here it's not where I want to be. And I know that my next apartment, I really want to get settled in there. So based off of what I'm telling y'all, please let me know if you guys still want a full apartment tour. I guess I could do one because I mean, I've been in here since October. It's May. I'm really not doing my bed how I should. I just want it to look presentable just because yeah i just don't see the need to continue buying furniture if i know i don't want to be here and i've been making out with those staple pieces of furniture i mean it would be nice to have i'm just thinking down the line how i just don't want to move all that stuff when it comes down to it without a shadow of a doubt that women in this season have been lit up for the least I want to set healing in motion. I want to set wholeness in motion. I want to set financial stability in motion. God, you don't have to do it in my lifetime. All right, y'all. I'm running a little late, but I do want to show you guys my quick OOTD for the gym. I have on my Gymshark Windbreaker. I like to throw that on in the morning because it's usually a little chewy outside. This pink crop top is from H&M. Here are my workout leggings. These are from Amazon. I'll link them down in my description box below. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll see you guys when I get back. What's up, y'all? I'm back from the gym. Today we did leg day. My legs are killing me right now. I'm on my personal laptop. I'm basically checking my my um my personal email. Not my personal email. Well, I guess you can say that. My personal email, my business email, the one I use for freelancing, and then my YouTube email to see if anyone has emailed me with any collaborations, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. Once I check my emails, I'm going to make some breakfast. But yeah, I just want to keep y'all updated. I'm not going to keep talking because I like to show you guys things as I do them. But I did want to let you guys know like what's going on right now. For breakfast, I am going to eat some leftover turkey burgers that I had last night night and for each turkey burger i'm just gonna do one slice of bread so two slices of bread total i just i don't know what's in bread that just makes me want to eat it all the time but it's just so good once i'm done eating we can get this show on the road so i already checked my emails i have two tickets that i want to knock out for work today one is a soccer graphic and one is an nba graphic and i also have my protein juice right here. I think I showed y'all it before. It's called IsoPure. And this is my second container of it. So that's how you know it's good. This is the Tropical Punch flavor. I really like it. Um, downside is it's only 16 servings, but 20 grams, easy way to consume some protein. I got my turkey burgers. And this is been a bust because I'm starving. And for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make some 
steak like i'm in the mood for a good steak so during my lunch break today i'm gonna go to the store to get some steak and yeah so just knocking out some tickets today and hopefully i can start on my clients social post today after i get off of work probably around like six or seven we shall see how that goes dang these prayers are small i was tweaking i was heck geeking look how small these are i put this in the microwave for 30 seconds and it looks like it burnt the cheese i don't know why it looks like that but i'm still gonna eat this anyway got my bread i'm just gonna do some ketchup this probably won't even look appetizing i'm not even gonna lie but ketchup gotta get my mustard right because i hate when it does that liquid thing all right ew am i breathing heavy in the camera i'm just gonna spread that around town spread that around town one turkey burger y'all see how small these things are i'm gonna eat it just like this i don't have any more lettuce but whatever i need to eat something so i can get my mind flowing for a work day i'm not quite sure what happened here however y'all see that water or i don't know don't know where that came from another day of work i'm repping winthrop today if y'all don't know i went to winthrop my first two years of college before i joined the military i thought i was going to be an english teacher so that's why i went to winthrop I'm really not familiar with Winthrop's design, graphic design program because I didn't go to school there for graphic design, but I think they do have one. But anyways, do your research. So, <clears throat> like I told y'all earlier, I already checked my emails. Let's get into this first ticket of the day. I'm going to pop up the prompt right next to me so y'all can see how things go down so uh, by the time you guys see this graphic it should already be live on social media platforms so i'm gonna show you guys as much as i can within my design process or a small glimpse i don't want to get too detailed because i still want to do a design with me but our first ticket is a lebron versus curry epic showdown the description reads ahead of potential warriors lakers series we would only run this if they play each other both the warriors and lakers are up three to two and play each other if they win the showdown graphic with lebron instead facing off with an epic feel to it if there's room also putting four NBA championships beneath or behind their heads, given both are going for a fifth. I've included an amateur sketch, so feast your eyes on that masterpiece. Check the sketch here. We were clowning it in our um, meeting on Monday. Hoping the previous four matchups can essentially be spotlit across the bottom with a cutout of Steph celebrating in 2015, LeBron celebrating in 2016, then Steph 2017, and Steph 2018 with LeBron celebrating in 2016. Putting in as a 16 by nine, which is a horizontal and a one by one, which is square for Instagram. Um, and we can use it on Instagram and also as FTR. So FTR, AKA footer is basically the image that you see, AKA key art. Um, that's at the top of an article. Here's an example of what I'm referring to. I did this graphic, I think about two weeks ago before the NBA, not the NBA, before the NFL draft. So yeah, <sighs> that was a lot to digest, but usually whenever I get a ticket, I have to look up inspiration. I already know that in our Google Drive, we have different cutouts of Curry and LeBron. So I probably won't have to go on to Getty to download any images, which is great because I do not feel like doing any cutouts at this very moment. Here's my work setup. I have a whole bunch of Pinterest boards because before I start a graphic, I like to go through and get some inspo on Pinterest. Social stat graphics, cool design styles, basketball graphics, soccer graphics, matchup graphics, boxing graphics, and NASCAR graphics. All these different types of graphics. Obviously, I work in the sports industry. And when it comes to sports, I feel like every sport has their own design style. For example, boxing. They like to use a lot of golds, basketball, 
soccer, two different styles. Like everything is just different. So that's why I have those different folders. So whenever, for example, I'm in my basketball graphics folder because I'm getting ready to do a basketball graphic. This is not for me to copy. This is just for me to get some ideas. Like I can pull different elements from different things. For example, if I like this background, I might do something similar, but not copycat. I like these diagonal lines going down. That could be a design element that I add to my graphic. These X's is very small, it's minute, but if I like it, it's something that I could use. Not copying, but just getting some different ideas. This folder doesn't really have much in it, but yeah. Like this one, I did a stat graphic yesterday. I can show you guys what it looks like. I added this to my basketball folder because it basically just gave me an idea of what I wanted to go. I put all the, um, I put the titles in the middle and then the numbers on the side with each player's name, LeBron and Steph Curry with the title bragging rights. I hope that makes sense. So if you ever are pulling ideas off of Pinterest, just be sure to not copy what you see. It is good if you are starting off as a graphic designer or you're just trying to learn a new feature or a new tool in Photoshop. If you want to do a passion project and kind of remake a specific graphic, I feel like that's good. Just be sure to mention inspired by this designer. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if I'm making sense in the comments down below because Talking about design is still kind of new to me, but I'm about to set up my artboard in Photoshop. Um, what was it? LeBron versus Curry Showdown. And they want a square. So here's a square. I like to make my resolution 300. And I typically work on a white background. Create my workspace. Disappeared. So if that ever happens, let's see. There it is, we're back in action. So here's a one by one, and then I'm gonna create a new document and do 1920 by 1080 to get the 16 by nine. LeBron versus Curry showdown, and I'm gonna just add 16 by nine at the end. Y'all, my camera cut off, but basically I was just showing y'all how to set up your guides. I always like to set up a horizontal and a vertical guide just so I can know where the center of the canvas is and I can get everything aligned nicely when I am designing. And when you are pulling out your guides from the side and the top, they usually snap in the center. I think it's really good to design with your guides. Y'all, I am so greasy. I hate, I hate when my skin is just so greasy, but that's not important. So I'm gonna reread this prompt and update you guys when I get to a good point. Uh, the first thing I'm probably gonna do is pull some photos of LeBron and Curry, and I'm gonna go from there, cause now I have to turn my brain on and get to designing. That's, oh my gosh, designing is not as easy as y'all think it is. A lot of people think that I'm just playing around all day. No, like, real ones know what's up, okay? Real ones know. This is a job. This is not no play play. This is for real. So I really like this picture. I feel like his facial expression tells a great story. Curry's in the back, which doesn't matter because I'm gonna cut LeBron out, but I do need an updated photo of Curry as well. It'll all make sense. Y'all gonna see. I found the perfect photo. Ooh, oh my gosh. First of all, this graphic is gonna eat like, I'm so excited to design this. Like these two photos, like photos are so important. Photos tell a story. Picking out your uh, subjects, facial expressions, you can tell by their body language. And like, yeah, I read the ticket. Epic showdown, trying to win a ring. <sighs> Y'all, I just can't. I just cannot. I'm excited over two pictures. But anyway, I'm about to do my cutouts really quick. I guess I'll do a time lapse of me doing a cutout. I'll do, which one should I do? Which one has less? I'll do a cutout of Curry so y'all can watch me do that.
Y'all, I literally just wasted 10 minutes of my time doing the wrong cutout of LeBron. I mean, y'all see it. Look at his jersey number, 23. That's an old behind photo. What the freak? Somebody caught me, so I got distracted. That's why my phone be on do not disturb because little stuff like that, oh my gosh, that's so aggravating. <sighs> Stress. This is the photo of LeBron I was supposed to cut out. I showed y'all earlier, but dang, that just low-key made me mad, but... Yeah. All right, here's where I am right now. Um, again, I have to do the 16 by nine as well. So I'm basically, once I'm done designing the one by one, I'll transfer it and manipulate it to where it fits this uh, size. Uh, next step I need to do is add the four cutouts on the bottom with the years and I want to play around with the gradients for the blue and the purple in the background just to give it some depth behind the players and yeah like what time is it it's 1 30 can y'all see me dang what happened to the light it's currently 1.30. I'm not going anywhere until I turn in and finish this graphic. I want it done today because I have one due tomorrow and I want to start that today as well. So I'm not taking my lunch break. I have a meeting at three. We'll just see what happens, but I know I am going to the store to get my steak because I'm having a steak tonight and that's it. So shadows is something that I really struggle with. I put one under his foot, but I want a realistic shadow. I feel like I can do it without Googling it. So I'm gonna try to see what I can do. Mm. Okay, so what the heck did I just do? I literally just messed that up. Copy that. So copy this and then above that put him right there, right? So I'm gonna do a solid fill in black and then I'm gonna create a clipping mask, right? Okay, okay. Now I just wanna see something. No, nah, that ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna work. Um, and then, yeah, just like for the women's tournament, 12 of our top 20 tweets from April um, kind of exploded. And I don't know if this is an Instagram wide thing. All right, y'all. I am almost done with this. It's 340. I have yet to make it to the grocery store. I'm just adding the fine details, like the shadows behind these cutouts. See the difference between these two, which don't have shadows. But these two do have shadows. Yeah. And then I have to do the 16 by 9, which I told y'all about 5,000 times. I think I'm going to record that for TikTok. Kind of like a time lapse of me doing it. What is going on with my face? I just don't get it. My fingers, my fingers low-key kind of hurt. I'm getting hungry, but I just, something about just getting in work and taking a break, just, I don't know. Once I'm in, I'm in, and I don't take a break till I'm done. And I didn't even start that second graphic that I wanted to start today. Whatever. I just, I just, I'm ready to get off work, okay? Have I even talked about it? We hit 10K with the world. I'm gonna save it for another video, like a whole spiel of how I really feel, cause I want y'all to feel what's on my mind. Like, this is crazy, 10K, like, thank you. 10K, 10,000 individuals know who I am and appreciate my content enough to hit subscribe and support me. So I really do appreciate you guys, like, what? That is amazing, that is so cool. That's something that I've been wanting to accomplish for so long. And it's finally here so that's just amazing i'm not really the type to get in my feelings like that so talking about this like getting sentimental is weird but y'all know what's up all right i think i'm about done with this one i'm about to set up my tripod i'm leaving the bathroom light on like bills are cheap because they're not let me get my tripod I keep all my camera equipment in this dusty closet. Found it. I found it. Whew. So let me get a good camera set up. 
Right now, I'm watching Glamazon Tay on YouTube. That's my girl. I love watching Glamazon Tay. If you see this, Tay, you keep me occupied during work, okay? You keep me occupied. I really love Tay's vlogs because she's not one of those re hit record and throw music on it. Like, show me what's going on and talk to me. Like, keep me entertained. I like to feel like I'm there, you know? And I hope that I kind of give off the same vibe. Let me see if I like how this looks. I think that looks fine. Let me show y'all what it looks like. Y'all see the vision? I gotta remind myself to show. Like, if you're thinking about being a vlogger, show people what's going on. It's a vlog, a video log, vlog. You feel me? So I have some grapes. I think I'm gonna snack on some of those just to put just to put something on my stomach because right now I feel like I'm about to pass out. It's 3:48 p.m. and I really like to turn this in before 4.30, for real, for real. I did not think this was gonna consume most of my time like that, but yeah. Gotta get my content in, not my content in, that too. But you feel me? I had, I had means of completing two graphics today, two tickets. The other ticket is a soccer ticket. I might work after hours tonight, but Again, I have client work to do today. I don't have any fruit or vegetable wash, so old school, I'm just gonna rinse them with some water for real. I already washed my hands when I got out of the bathroom, so I ain't trying to hear it. Grapes, got my grapes. Tell me that's not a cute vibe with the grapes while I design. I'm literally just gonna hit record and do my thing. Let's see how fast I can finish the graphic. So I'm done with the FTR. Now that I'm finally done at 4.37 p.m., I'm going to turn this in, make sure there's no revisions that need to be made, and go ahead and head out to the grocery store. I kind of want to wait a little while because I know a lot of people are getting off work, so I might be a little bit busy, but it all just depends on how I'm feeling because I know I, I already know what I need. It's going to be an in and out type thing. So that graphic called for zero revisions. I'm putting on lotion because after I got in my shower, after the gym, I did not put lotion on. I just ate and got straight to work. But I hate going outside when everybody else is outside. But I want steak so bad. Y'all looking at my hair? I refreshed my braids yesterday and I'm so glad I, that I did. I used the Carol's Daughter. It looks like this. I used this to refresh my braids yesterday and my scalp feels so much better. All right, that's literally all I'm about to do. I got my phone, my wallet, grab my car keys, and let's ride. strip it is there's nothing else that piques my interest here i am in the lotion aisle i mean i do need lotion 41 dollars lock your doors i don't know why y'all begin in y'all car and just sitting that's crazy to me so i got the steak and i also got some lotion some feminine wash and some more shaving cream because I was running low on all three of these items. So why not get it while I'm actually out?
Never in my life have I ever cooked steak. I don't think. Especially not in a cast iron skillet. My grandma gave me this skillet, so. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't burn anything. And I also have this. I got this from um, Aldi, so I'm about to get that right. And I think I'm gonna go with broccoli tonight. Crossing my fingers that everything comes out good and I'm gonna keep on recording. cooking dinner i'm gonna eat early so my food can digest without me getting sleepy too late so i can get back on my computer to clock in to my five to nine because i got some stuff that i need to do before the day's over so i'm not scramming tomorrow because i got drilled this weekend I ate, I scrolled on TikTok for a little bit, and I'm about to put my phone on the charger and put it on Do Not Disturb so I can get on my laptop. I'm not, I'm not sleepy, but I am like mentally drained. Y'all, I really can't get over how good this came out. Like, this junk eats. I just finished my second graphic. I am officially done. I did four graphics today. I think I showed you guys two. I can't show you guys the other two because those aren't due until next week and they need to be approved before I show you guys. They need to be approved and published. So I am about to tidy up the kitchen, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get in the bed. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below of what you guys would like to see next.